My name is Mariko Saka. I'm an assistant professor at the University of Tokyo. I will make this presentation with Dr. Hiroki Fukahori, who is a professor at the Keio University. We will provide information about family care of older adults in Japan. This presentation is accompanied by a presentation about family care of older adults in the U.S. from Dr. Joy Anderson. This slide shows the learning objective of this presentation. First is learn practice and system to provide care to older adults and their families. Second is compare family focused approach to care of older adults living with dementia and other chronic conditions in Japan and US. Third is Discuss family nursing competency for care to older adults and their family based on this lecture. This is IFUNA position statement on generalist competency for family nursing practice. Enhance and promote family health. Focus nursing practice on family strengths. Demonstrate leadership and system thinking skill to ensure the quality of nursing care with family in everyday practice and across every content. Commit to self-reflective practice based on examination of family action with family and family response. Practice using an evidence-based approach. Let's move on the presentation. In this presentation, we talk about two topics. First is system and practice for caring for older adults and their family, such as integrated community care system in Japan and example of support for aging in place. Second is family focused approach in Japan, such as example of support for family in the community and example of the research of family focused approaches. Fukahori sensei will introduce some research in Japan. System and practice for caring for older adults and their family. Before introducing integrated community care system, I'd like to tell you about transition of place of death in Japan. Although in 1951, only 9.1% 9 died in hospital and 80% died in their own home. Nowadays, about 80% of Japanese people die in a hospital and about 13% die in at home. This hospital death rate is quite high compared with other countries. So, Japanese government promote integrated community care system, which enable older people to live and die in the community. The integrated community care system is promoted in Japan to encourage the senior in need of nursing care keep their own life at the end of life. The system aims to enable people to continue to live in their hometowns to the end of their lives with a sense of security. As society ages, long-term care needs are increasing in terms of more elderly persons requiring long-term care. The integrated community care system is a system that promotes housing, health care, long-term care, prevention service, and living support in the community. The integrated community care system must be established by each local government based on their independence and originality in collaboration with private sector, volunteer, and so on. 
This slide shows the image of community-based service network. This slide shows community as hospital, and home is nursing room, and load as whole. I'd like to introduce some city. First is Toyama City. A city easy to live in for all generations and by pursuing a compact city planning in which the transport network was revitalized and people can live with ease and good health by working and not being reliant on cars. It is conducting initiative to create a society where other people can live with peace of mind and in their own way. In addition, in order to achieve a society where residents can continue to live at ease even if they start to require care, the city has established comprehensive community support center at 32 locations that serve as general consultation point for the older people, and Center for Community Care and Care Prevention, thereby involving itself in the creation of communities where residents can live with peace of mind. Next, I'd like to talk about Rikuzen Takata City. From June to September 2020, Rikuzen Takata City, as an SDG's future city, is aiming for the realization of a sustainable society in which not a single person is left behind. Implemented in a project to watch over the elderly to prevent the elderly living alone from becoming isolated during the period of staying at home due to COVID-19 and also to support the restaurant owner and car rental company hit by pandemic economic impact. Under this project, the city bore part of expenses and lunchbox prepared by restaurants in the city were delivered to the homes of elderly people living alone by car rental companies. This is the Kashiwa City. This slide is Toyoshiki Dai Housing Complex, which was constructed about 15 years ago. As I said, integrated community care system includes not only medical or long-term care, but also housing and living support. Under the concept of aging in place, Kashiwa City developed care support system, social support system, and housing, public space, and mobility systems. These integrated attacks would enable older people to live in their hometown to the end of their lives with a sense of security. Let's move on to the next section. In this section, I would like to introduce family forecast approaches in the community in Japan. I will introduce practice of dementia cafe and dementia supporter training for citizens. As Saku sensei mentioned, the integrated community care system aims to enable people to continue to live in their hometowns to the end of their lives with a sense of security. In this system, some approaches to support family members are implemented. First, I would like to introduce Dementia Cafe. A dementia cafe is a place where people with dementia and their families can casually drop in and have a chance to connect with others in the community. It is a place where anyone can participate, including local residents, caregivers, 
and medical professionals, and where they can deepen their relationships over a cup of tea, conversation, and consultation. The Dementia Cafe is promoted by the Ministry of Health, Labor, and Welfare in the Japanese government. In 2020, 87% of municipalities have dementia cafes, and the 7,737 cafes are launched. Japanese government aims to all the municipalities to set up the cafe. This image is a leaflet created by the Ministry of Health, Labor, and Welfare to promote the establishment of dementia cafes. This is a dementia supporter training in the community. In this dementia supporter training course, participants learn about dementia. The facilitator trains supporters to look after people with dementia and their families without stigma. If someone takes the dementia supporter course, she or he will receive the orange ring as shown in the photo. By wearing the orange ring, the person is identified as a supporter in the community. Seven million people have taken the training so far. This training helps local citizens understand people with dementia and is useful to make a dementia-friendly community. Making a dementia-friendly community will help people with dementia as well as their family caregivers. However, the challenge is that this program is only a classroom lecture, so it is difficult to fully understand the feeling of people with dementia. Therefore, researchers, including Sak Sensei, are developing a new dementia supporter training program. The main feature of this program is the use of virtual reality to provide a realistic experience of a person with dementia. In this movie, you can experience the realistic situations of the person with dementia from her own perspective. This virtual reality training is popular with the citizens as well as family caregivers of people with dementia. We hope that this experience will increase empathy for the person with dementia and lead to supportive behavior. Finally, I would like to present two qualitative research on family-focused nursing practice in long-term care facility and home visiting nursing context. The first study explores family-focused nursing practices for end-of-life care in long-term care facilities in Japan. The aim of this study is to clarify the holistic process of how nursing professionals provide end-of-life care in older adult care facilities in Japan in response to the dying process of the residents. Qualitative research used grounded theory approach was conducted. Sampling, interviewing, and analysis were performed cyclically, with results for each stage used as the basis for data collection and the next stage analysis decisions. Semi-structured interviews were conducted from March 2015 to March 2019, with 22 nurses from eight long-term care settings. Analysis was performed using coding, constant comparison, and emerging categories. This figure shows the main result of the study. The core category guiding the rebuilt care community to assist the dying resident comprised five categories. First one is assessing the resident stage, which is shown at the bottom of the figure. The other four categories comprise nurses and overlap care process. 
four categories are harmonizing care with the dying process, rebuilding the care community, helping community members care for the resident, and encouraging community members to give meaning. Family-focused nursing practices are included in three categories related to the rebuilt community circled in red. I will explain briefly the whole process. Immediately after residents move into the facility, nurses start to assess resident stage in end-of-life process. Assessment is primarily on physical and disease condition. Nurses harmonize their care with the assessment. Simultaneously, nurses rebuild the care community. This community includes family members, other residents, and healthcare providers. Next, nurses help members among the rebuilt community to care for the resident. After bereavement of the resident, nurses encourage community members to give meaning to the resident's life and death. A nurse describes the nurse's role as traditional village elders who were the integral members of the care community as well as guides who helped and encouraged the community. I will explain family-focused approaches in this process. Holistic nature of this nurse's end-of-life care process inevitably involves family. In this process, nurses help rebuild the new community around the frayed resident because past community around the resident are often lost. This rebuilt community naturally includes family members of the residents. Nurses help family to care for the resident with others and encourage reflection after the bereavement in the community. Next study is the family-focused practices of nurses in home care settings in Japan. Fitch describes the way to progress nurse-family relationship. This research published in Journal Family Nursing. Relationship development is crucial to nursing practice with families. However, little is known about the process of rebuilding relationships with multiple family members in home care settings and in various cultures. The objective of this study was to explore the experience of home care nurses about how they established relationships with older clients and their families in Japan. Grounded theory was used to guide the research. 23 expert home care nurses participated in semi-structured interviews concerning their family nursing practice. This figure shows the main result of this study. The establishment of relationships with client and family members was based on a purposeful yet non-imposing approach composed of four aspects. Two aspects are basic attitudes maintained by nurses, keeping a mindful distance from the family and not being a threat to family life. Other two aspects are two approaches, which were circulated. These are being a comfortable neighbor and gaining trust as a competent nurse. Keeping a mindful distance from family is important because the home care nurses is a total stranger at the beginning. Nurses should estimate appropriate distance. Not being a threat to family life is needed to avoid annoying the private life of family. These two attitudes continue as long as the service is continued as best to promote relationship. Next, 
Nurses enter the circle of two approaches, being a comfortable neighbor and gaining trust as a competent nurse. Both are important to establish and promote relationships. Being a comfortable neighbor is important to build relations as a person. If the nurse is not a comfortable neighbor, the client and family will not disclose their wish. Nurses' strategies to become a comfortable neighbor include proving an entry point making the client and family members comfortable, and being allowed in. Gaining trust as a competent nurse is also important for the home care nurses to establish a relationship in addition to being a com comfortable neighbor. The strategies to gain trust are thinking together, providing quality care, and gaining trust as a competent nurse. After clients and family members realize the effect of high-quality nursing care, nurses can gain trust and strengthen the relationship. Through circulation of this purposeful non-imposing approach, Japanese home care nurses can promote nurse-family relationships and can be involved in the life of clients and family. I would like to mention the two key concepts of Japanese nurses' family-focused approach, which seem to emerge from these two studies. First is holistic. Family is included in the community and cared in a holistic manner along with other stakeholders. Second one is harmony. Non-imposing approach is taken to avoid become deeply involved in the family's life. I have only introduced the two studies very briefly and encourage you to read them if you are interested. I finish my presentation. Thank you for your listening. I look forward to seeing you on the second discussion.